In this video, I want to warn you about vitamin C. Vitamin C is uh, ascorbic acid. When you are formulating with vitamin C, be very, very careful. <coughs> this product is susceptible to uh, oxidation, meaning when you make use it to make because it's very, very sensitive to heat and um, and light. When you use it to make your product, chances are you it, it has turned into another substance that will not make your skincare product to work it can even affect your skin if case not taken so if you see suppliers selling you know vitamin c to you just be careful be careful regular vitamin c this is how it looks and um, i think it's water soluble i'm not a fan of this type of vitamin e uh, vitamin c because it's susceptible to oxidation it can oxidize very fast now you're going to ask me how do i stabilize uh, vitamin c the best way to stabilize vitamin c is to add a ferulic acid um i think i think at one percent that one some people will use it up to two percent um one to two percent is perfect ferulic acid addition to this is going to help to stabilize it to certain points but hey uh, also if you keep in mind that that uh stabilization sometimes do fail so ferulic acid has been you know sometimes does not will not you know help you stabilize your vitamin c so it's a lot of headache working with vitamin c we've seen big brand making vitamin c and at the end of the day it will turn to another color the moment your vitamin c turns to different color or the color turn dark darker than normal then that means your vitamin c is garbage it's it won't work anymore it's not even safe for your skin if you have bought several vitamin c from top top skincare brand and you see it uh, a change color that may just turn useless it has oxidized and it's no longer useful but the good thing is that vitamin c really helps you know to brighten the appearance of the skin and you know it's a very very popular antioxidant you know it's a it's a very good component for the production of collagen you know which helps to you know improve the suppleness of your skin and elasticity vitamin c as you know has also been shown to reduce the appearance of age spots you know why some you know protection from environmental damage also you know um comes with these products it's very very you know useful in skincare um formulation now i do i don't waste my time buying it if you waste your money to buy it it's all depend on you um i bought this uh i think last year and i haven't used it since then because the previous one that i bought they just messed up my formulation especially when you make it use them to make serum but the good thing is that if you want to use it if you want to uh, use it just use it for one use go to a dark place take some of your vitamin c okay if you do not have ferulic acid now okay and you want to use this at home go to a, a dark room take some of your vitamin c turn it into a serum and use it right away and that's it don't bother about saying I i'll keep it in the fridge or I'll, no or what what you want to do is you can you know you can test test it when you finish making your vitamin c maybe serum or how you know store in a dark bottle like this okay when you store in a dark bottle that you, when you want to open it you just you know press there has a press top i don't have that with me here you just you know squeeze it from the top so that you don't need to be opening it all the time that's another thing you want to consider when you are working with vitamin uh, c now the good thing about working with vitamin c is that there is a high soluble version called uh l asorbic you know palmitate okay if you want to look into that that is another very water soluble version of vitamin uh, c to work with it's very very expensive so that one you can really you know work with that uh, when you're making your formulation so look into that when you are making your formulation It's a more stable form of vitamin c is uh, oil soluble also so work with that when you're working your formulation and when you work with it make sure you had it in the cool down in the oil phase of your formulation okay that is another thing you can do if you really really want to another thing that helps to that helps to stabilize it is uh is retinol okay try retinol try adding it together in your formulation in the cool down phase you know add it with your vitamin c it's going to really go all the way to stabilize your vitamin c so that's the best way to stabilize it. if you try ferulic acid try it and see how it works if it stabilizes if it doesn't you know oxidize 
that is a good news for you so that means you can continue to use it with ferulic acid but if you if it didn't work for you make sure you try a retinol added to it in the cool down phase is also a strong antioxidant that will prevent your vitamin c from you know oxidizing so that's about it for working with your vitamin c i hope this has helped you enough so going forward that is the best way to use your vitamin c thanks for watching everyone i wish you the best in your skincare formulation this is a channel for you to subscribe to if you want to learn more about different skincare ingredients and how to use them so click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload my next video thanks for watching